Matteo Messina Denaro, the last godfather of the Sicilian Mafia and one of the world's most wanted criminals, has been arrested in Palermo after 30 years on the run. Denaro, 60, who has been in hiding since 1993, was apprehended in a private clinic in the Sicilian city, where, according to sources, he had been periodically receiving treatment for about a year under the false name of Andrea Bonafide. He was taken away at about 9.35 am to the applause of other patients in the clinic and moved to the San Lorenzo barracks in the Sicilian capital. According to police sources, Denaro tried to escape from the clinic when he saw police arriving but once surrounded he did not put up resistance. The mobster was once considered a candidate to be the Sicilian Mafia's boss of bosses, after the deaths of Bernardo Provenzano in 2016 and Salvatorina in 2017. Nicknamed Diabolic or Yusaku, the skinny one, Gennaro was born in Castelvetrano, Sicily, in 1962. His father was a powerful Cosa Nostra boss, and Denaro thrived in the family business, building an illicit multi-billion euro empire in the waste, wind energy and retail sectors. According to Mafia informers and prosecutors, he holds the key to some of the most heinous crimes perpetrated by the Sicilian Mafia, including the bomb attacks that killed the legendary anti-Mafia magistrates Giovanni Falcone and Paolo Borsellino. In 2002, he was convicted and sentenced in absentia to life in jail for having personally killed or ordered the murder of dozens of people. Italy's Prime Minister, Giorgia Maloney, said, This is a great victory for the Italian state, which shows we should never surrender to the Mafia. My warmest thanks and those of the entire government go to the police forces, and the Palermo Prosecutor's Office, for the capture of the most significant figure in the Mafia. The mobster, who once infamously claimed, I filled a cemetery, all by myself, has apparently kept up his luxurious lifestyle, thanks to several bank rollers who, according to prosecutors, include politicians and businessmen.